Yeah, my uh, this is Laura and Kevin. We are here at the RCTV booth with um, Jason Lewis. He is running for state senate in the sixth Middlesex fifth, fifth <laughs> in <laughs> the <laughs> fifth Middlesex district. Excuse me. Um, so, Jason, it is great to have you here. Have you had a chance to check out the fair? Um, thank you for having me. It is great to be here. Um, it's actually my first uh, fair as Reading State Senator. Awesome. Um, so it's a special one, and I'm so impressed uh, with all of the people that are out today and all the families and all the local businesses and nonprofits. It's um, obviously a great success. Oh, thank you so much. Do you much. have a favorite part of the fair that you've seen today? Well, it's hard to beat the uh, uh, bail, is it jail and bail, bail and jail? Oh, oh the bail, okay. jail and bail, <laughs> yeah, right, the jail and bail, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna, uh, probably when folks watch this, it'll be uh, after the fair, but uh, I'm going to be going in, in jail a, a little while. Oh, okay. So uh, if you uh, come by and uh, help bail me out. Get them out of ra there. Raise money for a great cause. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Understanding awesome. disabilities in our schools, so happy to support it. Definitely, Excellent. definitely. So you were elected in the special election in April, and now you're running for real election. Would you like to tell us um, about your time in the state Senate so far and how you've been preparing for re-election? Sure. Well, absolutely. As um, as folks may know, we had a crazy series of special elections, uh, all triggered by John Kerry becoming our Secretary of State. So eventually uh, that meant Catherine Clark uh, was elected to Congress. And, uh, and then I uh, was fortunate enough to succeed Catherine as the state senator uh, for the town of Reading. So it's been about three months, and I've just been working hard to get you know all over the community and um, get to know people, get to know the organizations, the needs of the community. Um, we've had some successes already, actually, uh, working with uh, Brad Jones and Jim Dwyer, who are the two state representatives. We were able to get uh, um, some safety improvements made on up on Main Street and the intersection with Franklin, oh yeah, mm. which yeah. has mm -hmm. a been a very um, dangerous intersection. Mm. And that was um, just done this summer. That was just done, yes. Yeah. So uh, working with the Mass de Massachusetts Department of Transportation and the local uh, leaders and the police department, we were able to, to get that. So I'm pleased that about that. And, um, you know, we've got uh, a lot of work still to do on uh, funding for our public schools, con continuing to increase... Um, funding for transportation as well, and uh, that's uh, that's what I'm looking forward to continuing to work on. Awesome. So as you have uh, kind of felt your way through the state Senate, but now you're, of course, running for re-election for the seat you just won a couple of months yes. ago. What do you see as the most important issue that uh, is facing the Commonwealth in, in the, this time around? Well, fortunately, I think, uh, you know, I, I served in the state House of Representatives for five years as the mm -hmm. state rep for Stoneham and Winchester before becoming state senator, and the big issue for many of those years was the, the state of the economy. You mm -hmm. know, we'd had the Great Recession, lost a lot of jobs. It was very difficult for our uh, Commonwealth and for our families and businesses. Fortunately, we're now doing much better. You know, our un unemployment rate is, m is much lower and, and better than most other parts of the country. Our state revenues have recovered. So I think we're now in a position where we can really focus on how do we, what do we want to do to, t you know, to help encourage further growth in our state and help everyone who hasn't yet realized the benefits of the recovery to share in that. Mm. Um, so continuing to create economic opportunities for all. And I'm a big proponent of supporting our public schools because I think that's what really creates opportunity for everyone. So um, those are some of the things we, we I look forward to working on uh, in the months and years ahead. Excellent. Awesome. Um, so you're running uh, kind of in a full election for the first time. That's right, because right <laughs> now I'm finishing Catherine's term. That's right. And, uh, and then in November, when we uh, vote for governor and everything else, I, I, I will be um, uh, uh, hopefully uh, re-elected as, uh, as state senator. Sure. So what, what have you uh, kind of learned this time around as running in a full election as opposed to a special election in terms of maybe your favorite part of running? Uh, well, I'm, I'm hopeful more people will turn up to vote. <laughs> <laughs> On April 1st, it was scary. There yeah. were so few people who voted. And, um, you know, I, I um, uh, w was born in South Africa. Um, I'm actually the only non-native-born member of the Massachusetts Senate. Oh, okay. And I, I grew up during uh, the apartheid years in the mm. 1970s. Mm. And, of course, under a par uh, uh, apartheid government in South Africa, um, most of the population d couldn't vote yeah. just based on the color of their skin. Sure. So. For me, the the right the, the the ability to vote, the right to vote, is an e is an enormous you know privilege, and it always saddens me in when we have elections when so few people vote. Yeah. And that was true on April first. It's also, unfortunately, true in a lot of local elections. Yeah. In some ways, those are 
the most important right. when you vote for your you school committee, your board of selectmen. You and certainly have the biggest voice in those elections. Absolutely. You know. you do. <laughs> and, and those folks you're electing to uh, have probably the biggest impact on your community. Right. So I'm glad in November we'll probably have a lot more people vote <laughs> than we did in April. And I, I really encourage everybody to please you know, come out and vote. Uh, in uh, Well, we have an election on Tuesday, a primary, yes. primary <laughs> yeah. September 9th, and then November 4th is the regular election. Absolutely, absolutely. So what are your plans um, for the rest of the fair, uh, aside from it being uh, jailed and then bailed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully I get bailed. Yes. <laughs> hopefully, uh, I'm well, send, us a message, send us a yeah. message if nobody bails you. Okay. Welcome, yes. welcome. And then I'm looking forward. I, I hear that the high school students have a robotics oh. exhibit. Yes. Congressman and Tierney uh, was mentioning that. Did he mention that also? Yeah. And um, I'm a big fan of... Um, uh, as we talk about education and certainly supporting, um, you know, science and engineering and, and math. Although I would call it STEAM, not STEM, because <laughs> I would add arts too. Yes, oh, I okay. have heard science, that as well. Science, technology, engineering, mm -hmm. arts, Art and, and, math. and math. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the uh, Reading students have been able to come up with. Apparently, it's very impressive. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we've been talking with uh, Jason Lewis, who is uh, currently our state senator down in Boston and is also running for election for that same seat. Uh, and good luck uh, this thank week you. in the primary and, of course, uh, later on in November when thank that you. comes up. And uh, we appreciate you stopping by the fair and stopping by uh, with us here on the stage as well. Thank you. My pleasure. Good to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. We uh, will be back in just a moment here at the Reading Fall Street Fair on RCTV.